Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Optibottom is coming to you with another video review. And again, thanks to my patrons, we'll be taking a look at the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Dimension X of the Space Vigilante, Casey Jones. As you can see for the package, you got that nice Dimension X card here with the open window, which shows Casey Jones in his spacesuit as he looks in the new season of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, a little bit different looking than it, it kind of, mostly in the paint, but that's, <laughs> we're, we're kind of used to that. You come around into the back, and it says, Casey Jones and the Ninja Turtles team up with their ally, Fugitoid, in the battle to save Earth. Casey gears up with his space helmet, spacesuit, and stocks up with puck-looking energy bombs. He's ready to smack the puck bombs into any evil alien that comes their way for a space goal. All the hockey puns just flow with this guy. Uh, you got other figures down here that are currently available, including all the Dimension X figures, as well as Casey Jones and the new April O'Neil, as well as a new character known as Robug. But uh, there is some serious differences here that when you look at the uh, promotional art, uh, there's a lot of stuff that's lacking on here. I, I guess that standard, I mean, the, the proto images always look much better. I think a lot of people would complain less if that's what they actually gave us in terms of figures. But uh, for the packaging on this guy, that's about it for him. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. So here we have Casey Jones open up and out of his packaging. And as you can see, uh, he's in his really crazy looking spacesuit, uh, which does look pretty good. I mean, you look at the package and there's a lot of weird colors that are on there that this doesn't have. I mean, you have some you know, like kind of dirt area here on like the little vent. Uh, these are pink, which is really strange because they're right on the package. I, I don't get that at all. Uh, just all in all, it, it's kind of missing a lot. And then one thing that really does kind of stink, and you can see, you can't really see his head. I mean, it, it is a new head sculpt, and it actually looks really good if you, if you like, bend it and kind of look down there like that. actually looks pretty good, but you can't really see it. And, and then you got his mask or his helmet which I've completely dropped, which actually looks pretty cool. You got some uh, like cracks kind of on there, but it's a lot clearer than April's was, which looks pretty crappy already. So, I mean, th there was just only going up. And then when you put it on there, I, that just looks really strange. Uh, it, it, especially like right here, you can kind of see like there's no way that if he were to look through that, he'd be able to see. It's all weirdly warped right there, but overall good detail on the suit itself. Like I talked about in my review of April, this is the fourth Casey Jones figure that we've gotten. We got the original, we got the uh, the one that you can swap out the limbs, and then you got the one that came with the uh, Slam Boney. Uh, so this is the fourth one, and it is kind of weird that we've gotten four Casey Jones figures already, and we've only gotten now two Aprils. But uh, for a comparison, uh, setting him there, uh, here is that uh, a Slam Boney version of Casey. And as you can see, uh, both of them have unhelmeted heads, but this one is actually really nice. And then this is the, uh, the one with the, the joint that you can uh, swap out with other you know your figures and characters and things like that uh, so I mean you can see basically the, the same kind of height and everything he, he's a little bit shorter but obviously this is looking a lot different because he's wearing that spacesuit and then well, I guess uh, for a comparison here he is next to Donatello and as you can see uh, Donnie is a lot shorter than him he's also got a little a smudge of dirt right there on his head uh, but he's a lot smaller than uh, Casey is and then bringing in April to kind of complete the the look you can see that she's a much smaller character as well so Casey's actually pretty tall but overall I mean real pretty decent detail that's kind of built in there I, I like how he's got like this little propeller thing here in the back it doesn't turn or anything but that kind of helps the you know propel them through space uh, but while the the paint deco on here is a little bit lacking from what we saw in the promotional images it's actually not too bad you got some nice gold here you got some nice silver on this side uh, you got some nice grain silver kind of painted here on the body uh, he doesn't have any paint on his hoses which that was lacking from what we saw on you know that card art as well but you got some nice silver paint down here in his legs and everything so in general decent uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy overall I just really wish you could see that face you know give him a little bit more of a neck I, I mean I don't know you might be able to heat that up and take that head off but I don't know what it would fit on but again uh, just bending that back I, I really think that that head sculpt actually looks pretty good on him uh, now first articulation you can see the head does rotate kind of left and right it doesn't get a full 360 because this
this piece right here kind of gets in the way. Uh, the shoulders are on the pin hinge joint, so they hinge up and down, and then they can rotate all the way around. Uh, this part here gets a little bit in the way of that rotation, but you can kind of rotate it. Oh, I didn't even notice that. He's, he's hollow right <laughs> underneath there. That's... Uh, and that one's hollow too, so that's kind of cheap, uh, I, I would say. Both of these are kind of hollow. Uh, he does bend here at the elbow. He goes both ways at the elbow, so you get a nice range of motion there. Uh, the waist does rotate. The hips are on those pin hinge joints, so they can hinge forward and back. You can rotate them out, and then you can kind of uh, flex them outward, but he's got little uh, pockets here on the side which kind of get in the way. And then the knees move uh, back a uh, good range of motion there. They actually go about 90 degrees. So you get a little bit more articulation actually than even April O'Neil, which is kind of strange. But I think part of that, it, it comes from the fact that he gets no accessories. Uh, the only accessory he comes with is his really bad helmet, uh, I, I guess. Um, I mean, like I said, I just, I just don't really like the way that that helmet looks on there when you're trying to look at the face. But this, this is everything that you get. So it's like they eliminated any accessories that he would come with uh, to give us a little bit more articulation. Now, I guess if you have those other Casey Jones figures, you, you may have extra weapons. So uh, maybe you can hold this, although I don't, that's going to be way way too big i mean he can kind of hold it but the the gap is just way too big there and then maybe he can hold his hockey stick in this hand and now same same kind of thing the gap is just too the big on, on his hand here so i don't think yeah you're you're not gonna really be able to have him holding it well you, if you bring this up where it gets a little bit thicker you can maybe uh do it but uh, it is a, a little unfortunate. He, he, like I said, he doesn't come with any accessories. You can kind of make shift some accessories with it, but he can't hold them very well at all. So really very unfortunate that it appears that we got a more articulated figure, but in the process lost any kind of weapons or accessories that he would come with. All in all, I, I think that he looks pretty good. Um, he, he is how he looks in the new season, but honestly he's he's not one that i can really say i think would replace you know a previous version of casey jones i mean you had the uh, the april figure which was good enough to replace your previous april this one just it, it doesn't do it for me uh, if you're going for variants and things like that uh, as a way of t kind of you know completing the line and making sure that you get all the characters and things like that this is definitely one that you would want to pick up but if you're just trying to go for an overall general look, you know, and hitting all those characters from the show, this is one that I would probably pass on. If, however, you are looking for him, he is hitting retail locations right now. Or as always, there's Big Bad Toy Store. So all you have to do is click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to BBTS where you can check out availability on this guy as well as the rest of the Ninja Turtle figures. And again, I'd also like to mention that this review was provided courtesy the support of my patrons. So if you'd be interested in helping to support the channel, check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash Optibotamus. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotamus. Don't forget to please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.